Hello friends and welcome to Let's Play Pajama Sam 2. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. Hold it right there, Earthquaker. Stop that evil doing. Your low calorie threats mean nothing to me. Take that, Captain Skeleton. And your lunch boxes are no match for the foul weatherman. Now we shall take the cosmic eraser, and with it we shall control the world. Not so fast, Dust Devil. Pajama Man. I'll spin you to the four corners of the earth, do gooder. My handy dandy Pajama Man superpower back says different. Pajama Man, you suck. Exactly! All right! Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's just a little under lightning. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening. <laughs> Thunder and lightning aren't so frightening, but I'm scared. <coughs> Someone's got to go upstairs and do something about this weather. This looks like a job for... Pajama Sam! I know I left my Pajama Sam cape around here somewhere. I'd better find it. By the way, I don't know if my face cam's lagging or not. I think it's okay. It's been acting up a lot in a lot of videos, so hopefully it works. We're playing Pajama Sam. Oh, God. I really gotta find my Pajama Sam cape so I can go up and do something about this. I didn't realize we were on a timer. So we have to find our cape. Not Pajama Sam 2, as well as the entire Pajama Sam series, except... So apparently there's a fourth Pajama Sam that I've never played. I'm looking forward to playing that one day, but this is the second one. I've clearly played this one before. It's been a long, long time. It's a game of my childhood. I, I, I know his cape's around here somewhere. There it is. Pajama Sam is ready for action. Now I can go upstairs and take care of all this thunder and lightning. That's right. I better get upstairs and do something about this. Now that he's got his cape, he's all excited. Gotta we got to be on the lookout for pieces to my puzzle. That's right. Uh, last uh, game, Pajama Sam 1, we played that before. If I remember, I'll put an I card up there. If not, God knows what'll be there. But uh, last game, we looked for socks throughout the game. There will be puzzle pieces to keep an eyeball out for in this game uh, this summer. Oh, I, I, I'm trying to go up the stairs. I'm trying to talk to the people on the other side of this camera, Pajama Sam. Uh, I love that. <laughs> I love this baby picture. That Look at him. When I was little. little. You were very round. You were a very round little baby. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that really took it out of you there okay, for a second. Here I go. We're not afraid of the dark anymore, so we can go up there. That's that's my thinking. That's my reasoning. Pajama Sam is gonna put a stop to this thunderstorming once and for all. Oh snap. The attic was a portal into the clouds. All along. I don't know how you rationalize that. I know in the first game you rationalize like the entire game takes place in one of Pajama Sam's like dreams, like he dreamt the whole thing. I don't know how you rationalize it in this game. This I don't think they even worry the about it. Comes from. Thunder and lightning must work there. The World Wide Weather, uh, www. You know, just in case you thought it was World Wide Web, it's the World Wide Weather. Watch out, thunder and lightning. Pajama Sam is coming. I actually really like that it's a big, like, sort of corporate entity is where all the weather comes from. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't go in here. I'd like to go inside, please. Are you an employee? No. Sorry, no visitors. Well, we need to convince him we're an employee. 
Employee. I, I feel like I said that funny. Employee. Oh, there's a crowbar. I may very well need that. So this is another one of those games I played a lot as a child. I'm looking forward to playing it and sort of reliving some of my own nostalgia. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. I know this one's a little more, like, for kids than, like, Spy Fox was, which was absolutely for kids too, but with a few more references and stuff. But, like I said, I played this as a kid. I'm playing it as an adult. Sue me. <laughs> um, we have a crowbar. Oh, wait, wait, duh. We have a crowbar. How do I... There we go. Bring up the crowbar. We can pop open this box. There's gonna be like an employee's uniform or something in here, surely, because there's gotta be a way to get past that that arm that arm guard, <laughs> uh, whatever you call him, that that checkpoint. That oh no, we're just gonna hide in it. Oh, that makes sense too. I'm gonna get whisked away. This uh poor scraper, whatever he is, he's just never gonna get his job done. There is an employee ID card. Alright, hop out of that before something horrible happens to that box. There we go. Goodness knows where, what that's supposed to do or where that's supposed to go or for what purpose. Worldwide Weather Employee Identification Card. Foster Boondoggle. Do not lose this card. Maybe there's a lost and found somewhere where I can turn this in. Maybe. Or we could just yoink that and now we're Foster Boondoggle. What a name! Foster Boondoggle. I enjoy that quite a bit. What, uh, what was... Uh, I've got a computer here. We've got save, load, stuff. Oh, there's a fun section! Um, kind of like like the uh, Spy Fox series where they have like a mini game or whatever. I don't remember what it is. We'll check that out in a separate video at some point. And this, this is where we keep our puzzle pieces. And I think uh, throughout the whole thing you click like three puzzles or something like that. There's a whole load of pieces and I haven't seen any yet. Keep an eye out. I almost said keep an eye on. <laughs> keep an eye on. Keep an eye out for those puzzle pieces. Let's go ahead and go inside here. Hello telephone man. I always remember liking him. Weather, sir. Thank you. He's just so god dang polite. Can we make a call? Welcome to the we can. Worldwide Weather Automated Response System. If you know the extension you wish to reach, you may dial it at any time. For our this hours would be of operation or directions so creepy. to worldwide weather, press 1. To suggest a new kind of weather, press 2. To reach our complaints department, press 3. To talk to an operator, press 0. I want to suggest a new weather. Hello, suggestions department. Did you want to suggest a new type of weather? Um, what about room temperature snow for the summer? Oh, we've already got that. It's called mud. I never <laughs> thought of that. Thanks for your call. You're welcome. Mud. <laughs> I forgot about this. That's, it's a lot of fun to go through those on your own time and just listen to all the things. But, um, oh, look, it's, uh, oh, God, what was your name? The King or something from the Mineshaft? We can't go in here. I'm pretty sure it takes our employee card. So we can absolutely do that. I don't mean to intrude, but perhaps I might offer a suggestion. Okay. That is a security door. Regrettable, I know, but we have to keep, shall we say, the less savory elements of society from wandering into the master control room and messing about. Savory? I don't mean you, of course, but you will need an ID card if you want to go in there. Oh, thanks. The You're less savory welcome. members of society. That's strangely like... <laughs> We must keep the peasants out of the castle, you know. All right, let's go ahead and swipe our ID card. We're Foster Boondoggle. Let us in. Don't eat my card. Unless you're going to stay open for me. In which case, that is absolutely fine. Here we go. I think it ate the card. I hope it wasn't too important. It's fine, because I think where we start the game proper is actually in this room. We meet Thunder and Lightning. as I think these guys' names are. Oh, calm down, would you, dear? You're just a little boy. Who are you calling little? I'm Pajama Sam. I've come to put a stop to this thunderstorming business. Oh, yes. I think we've really outdone ourselves this time. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, well, actually... I do enjoy a good storm. 
And it will be I do too, to be honest. Thing. I never... And this is how Sam just bungles the entire operation. He's pushed the big red button. <laughs> Why would there be a big red button? There's no good reason. That's just asking for trouble. Shifting power to backup generators. Adjusting horizontal hold. That should hold it for now. Damage report. Looks like a few pieces have been shaken loose. Oh my gosh! Look at this weather! Hurricanes in Egypt! Tornadoes in Toledo! This is going to take everything we've got. Um, can I help? Help! No one can help! We're doomed! Doomed! Quiet! As a matter of fact, there is something... Lightning's a little dramatic. Lightning and I have important work to do here, so we need you to help fix the weather machine. How do I do that? This is a list of pieces that have come off the machines. We need you to find them and put them back where they belong. Will you do that? I mean... fear, ma'am. A jam of Sam always helps people in need. Well, we're kind of the ones that screwed it up to begin with, so I, I suppose it's the least we can do. Although I don't know why they would trust a random strange boy to go fix all their problems for them, but uh, I, they must be a little understaffed. Oh, I've got my puzzle piece. There we go, look at that. Oh, maybe this is the only puzzle and this is where we keep the pieces. I bet that's it. I bet that's what it is. Well, that's an excellent place to stop. That's Pajama Sam 2. Thunder and Lightning aren't so frightening. Um, I'm going to play through this entire thing. I don't care if anyone watches it. But if you enjoyed it, uh, please uh, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below if you would like to see more games like this anyway i i personally want to do more of this i just want to know what you guys think as well in the comments if you're new consider uh, uh, uh tapping just just tapping you don't need to hurt the darn thing just tapping that subscribe button people get so rude and mean to that subscribe button good god man so rude but whatever you guys do i want to thank you all so much for watching and until next time it's not goodbye it's see you later a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters, Alex Duquette and Blaze Bat. You have my undying love.